Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a good day. Today I'm filming another styling video for you. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I started off doing like a little mini series on my channel of uh, capsule collections for each season and I did one for spring and autumn and obviously now we're sort of in the middle of winter. I feel like as soon as December and Christmas and everything is done with then we sort of forget that it's still winter but January and February and even March can be really cold months especially here in the UK so I thought that I would show you my current favourite pieces and how I've been wearing them. These sort of staple items that I've been wearing a lot through December so I thought that I would include them in this video and show you a few different outfits of how to wear each of them and um, they all can be mixed and matched together so this is essentially a capsule wardrobe for this time of year i have three tops uh three bottoms i actually have a dress as well three coats three pairs of shoes and a couple of um accessories and stuff as well which i thought i would include all of these pieces are standard pieces that you can keep year in year out and keep re-wearing uh this year one of my new year's resolutions is to buy less fast fashion items and invest in more staple pieces that i know i'm going to be re-wearing year after year and that is what i have here all of these pieces i will be keeping some of these pieces i have had for a few years now that i have reworn, and all of them i'll be keeping for next autumn and winter and wearing them probably in slightly different ways these are all pieces that are quite versatile so can be worn in different ways but i will be transitioning them into next year and getting my money's worth which is what you want when you're building your staple wardrobe for each season so what i'm going to do for this video is talk through each piece individually where i got it from what size i wear what I like about it and then I'm going to talk through how I would style each individual item. Um, I'm going to put a cutaway on the screen. Uh, it might just be one cutaway for each item but as I said they can all be mixed and matched so you will be seeing lots and lots of outfits throughout. I think there's like 14 or 15 outfits that I have made up from these pieces and you could make so many more but I can't be showing you 20-25 outfits in one video so I'm going to keep it to I think it's about 14 or 15 so hopefully that should help you. These are pieces that some of you will probably already have in your wardrobe as well to make it that bit easier but this can be a tricky time of year uh, the sales are still on so there's not that much new stuff in the stores or online so it can be a tricky time when it comes to dressing yourself but I thought this video might be helpful it doesn't actually feel like that long ago that I did my autumn one um, but I have a few new pieces and these are all different items so I thought I may as well film another video for you as I know some of you found the autumn one quite helpful. Anyway, I feel like I rambled so much then in those few minutes but I'm gonna start by just talking through these pieces. And as always, everything will be linked in the description box if it is still available. If not, I will find similar items and all my sizes will be linked down there as well. So the first item is this jumper. This is a big oversized roll neck. This one is from Zara. I actually have two of this exact same jumper because I bought the first one when I was at uni. So maybe like one, two, maybe like two, three years ago maybe. Um, and I lived in it. I wore it so much and it started to go a little bit bobbly. It was collecting fluff, much like this one is unfortunately now. Um, but they had it in stock in Zara last year. So I actually bought another one because of how much I wore the first one. And I still have both of them. I wear the older one. Sorry, I'm just picking off the bits of fluff. I wear the older one um, sometimes around the house still. Such a comfy cosy jumper to wear. I love that it's so oversized. I often just chuck this on with leggings and trainers um, when I'm running errands and then I can put a big coat over the top if need be but if not I'll just put like a layering piece underneath this. Apologies if you can see all the fluff by the way. I should have gone over this with a limp roller beforehand but. So like I said big chunky roll neck. This was from Zara. I got it in a size small so I didn't need to size up in this already quite oversized there are quite a lot of this sort of thing on the high street I know Topshop do a very similar one so I'm sure it would be quite easy to find but as well as thin tight polar necks I also love a big chunky jumper like this one and I think it cost me around 30 pounds so quite reasonable for a big thick jumper now this sort of thing I love to wear with an all black outfit this with a pair of black skinny jeans, some biker boots and a black puffer coat over the top, I think looks really great. Sort of like a grungy 
casual outfit with the puffer but then biker boots sort of toughen it up and yeah I love wearing this with all black I also think that this would look great with a black knitted mini skirt some tights and biker boots you can even throw over like a long wool overcoat to smarten it up a little bit but yeah this is so versatile I literally live in it I wear it all the time I would love it if they'd have done this in a cream and a grey as well because I would have snapped those up the next top that I have to show you is just this plain basic this is also from Zara and I got this really recently I believe it's called like soft touch sweater or soft touch top on the website and it is definitely soft to the touch it is lovely it's this gorgeous thin cotton it's got a lovely v-neck long sleeved obviously nice and loose fitting i did actually size up and get this in a medium just so it wasn't clingy um but i absolutely love this i wear this so much as a layering piece i wear it around the house as a basic i wear it with leather leggings it's just such a great piece it was so affordable as well i think it was about i want to say 12.99 but i think that might be wishful thinking i think it was it was no more than 20 pounds so really great they also do this in lots of colors they have it in a black and and i think a gray and maybe even like a maroon color as well but lots to choose from these sort of bits are perfect for this time of year underneath other jumpers as well like i said as a layering piece but also on their own this sort of thing with jeans as well is lovely you could tuck it in and add a nice statement necklace and a nice bag and some heels and it could transform into an evening outfit as well for me i like to wear this with leather trousers some trainers and a nice big chunky coat over the top just a nice casual outfit but still really comfortable and you look really put together when you mix materials like something soft like this with a pair of leather trousers. I just love that look. So that is how I would wear this piece. The final top I have to show you is this grey one. I got this from H&M but I got this quite a while ago. But I'm not sure if this exact one is still in stock but I'm sure that there would be a similar one. Loads of places sell turtlenecks like this. You could even just go to Primark if you wanted and pick up a couple for, for probably about £6. But anyway, this one's from H&M. I love the colour of it. It's such a lovely tone of grey, nice and light. It's got a little bit of marl in there, like a few white threads and slightly darker grey threads, which is really nice. It's ribbed as well. I got this in a size small and I wear it so much. It's such a handy piece. Again, like the long sleeve Zara top, great for layering. I often put uh, turtlenecks like this underneath big uh, round neck jumpers or hoodies so you can see the turtleneck peeking through and I think that looks really nice. Just such a versatile piece. I have one of these pretty much in every single colour in my wardrobe when it comes to winter. They're so wearable and so easy to build an outfit around. If you just take one of these and a pair of trousers, you can put different coats, blazers, jumpers over the top and then you can pair with heels boots trainers just so versatile and a great outfit building starter point so for a more casual outfit you could just pair this with some black skinny jeans with a wool overcoat over the top and some casual biker boots or you could dress something like this up and wear it with a little mini skirt and some over the knee boots some thick black tights and a big fluffy coat over the top it's just a simple basic that you can't go wrong with so that is the three tops done now i'm going to move on to bottoms the first item is something i've spoken about a little bit already and this is one of the items that i've had in my wardrobe since i can remember not this exact pair i have updated them and um, gone for some different styles but I don't think I'll ever tire of a pair of black skinny jeans. I know some people might say that skinny jeans are dead now. I definitely don't wear these as much as I used to a few years ago but I still always like to have a pair because I think they smarten up certain looks um, and it's just a nice alternative to have. I wear a lot of blue denim so it's nice to have something black in my wardrobe to reach for. Just nice and simple and classic. These particular black skinny jeans are from Topshop. These are the Topshop Jamie jeans which I have always worn. I did mention that I've gone through a few pairs of these and they do not last as well as I had hoped um, but that is because I wear them so much so I have to keep replacing them. These ones to be fair have held their colour really well. The first couple of Jamie jeans that I bought from Topshop um, went really washed out quite quickly they must have changed their denim slightly because these ones have held this true black colour for quite a long time now. So I'm really pleased with that. In these jeans, I wear a size waist 28, leg 32, and they fit me perfectly. They're not too tight. They don't look like leggings. They're just a nice, slim fit, skinny jean. I would pair them with a black roll neck like this one, even a turtleneck. And 
a big chunky coat and just put on a pair of trainers for comfort. Um, I love to dress these up as well. I can add a pair of heels really easily to an outfit, but jeans for me like this are a comfort option. So now on to the next pair of bottoms. These are a pair of leather, I don't know whether to call them leather joggers or leather trousers. They have a elasticated waist and a drawstring, but they don't have an elasticated bottom. It's just a tapered leg. Um, but these are from Mango. I purchased these in the autumn and I wear them so much. They are such a great purchase. They fit my legs so well. I bought these in a size small and ideally I think I should have got the extra small because they just don't fit nicely around my waist. That's the only issue. They slightly bulge um, around my hip area which is a little bit frustrating so when I wear them I just have to be mindful of that. But along the leg they fit me great. I love wearing these. Such a great alternative to jeans or slim fit leather trousers which I wear a lot of so it's nice to have a little bit of a change. I love to wear this sort of thing just with a big oversized jumper like this black one and a pair of biker boots. It's just such a simple classic all black outfit. It's a little bit different just pair it with a black bag, black crossbody bag and I think you look so cute, good to go. If it is that bit colder you can always chuck a coat over your shoulders but when it's starting to get a little bit warmer and you don't always need a big thick coat, I think trousers like this and a big oversized jumper are such a great look. They do still have these on the Mango website, so you will be able to pick up this exact pair, but so many places do similar ones now. These are literally on every single website, so you will be able to find a pair somewhere. These cost me, I think, £35. So not a bad price, really, for faux leather trousers. The next item is something a little bit different for me, and it is a skirt, which I don't normally show on my channel because I don't normally wear skirts or dresses that often um more so in the summer really than in the winter but this is just a cute little black mini skirt that i purchased from zara a little while ago actually came as a set came with a matching jumper and it also came in a few other colors as well so hopefully this is still available but if not there'll be something similar below i just love this i think it's just a sweet little a-line skirt um, I love that it was knitted, I thought that made it a little bit different. I've sort of grown away from denim skirts and that sort of thing now, um, it just reminds me of my youth. So um, this sort of thing I think is a little bit more mature and a little bit more my style now as my style has evolved quite a bit. I think this is really affordable, I think it was around £20 so hopefully it's still available for you. But I love to wear this sort of thing again with an all black look, um, that's going to be happening a lot in this video but that's just my style, especially in winter. I love to wear this with some thick black tights, a big chunky black jumper and some knee high boot. You could even throw a long coat over the top if you're going out for like a nice dinner or something. I think that's a great alternative, well for me, a great alternative to jeans and heels which is what I would normally go for. Now just as a little sort of bonus item, I wanted to throw in a dress. Now this is a cream jumper dress from a little boutique brand called Lydia Rose Clothing. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down below. And I just absolutely love wearing this this time of year. I love the roll neck on it. It's such a lovely length. It sits so nicely. It's not tight fitting at all. It skims your figure nice and loosely. This I got in a size 10 for reference if anybody is thinking of buying it. But I just love jumper dresses this time of year. I haven't been wearing them that much this year as much as I have previously. Um, I think it's just because I don't have any nice boots really to go with them apart from heeled ones. I've sort of been saving this kind of jumper dress for a special occasion and I just think you can't go wrong with this. Any sort of jacket goes well with this. Some nice tights and some over the knee boots and a nice long overcoat. It also looks great with a teddy coat over the top and some biker boots. It's a really versatile piece. It can easily be worn during the day for comfort but you can also dress it up really nicely for an evening as well. And it's such a lovely, good quality dress as well, this one. So I would really recommend it if you're looking for something a little bit different. Now, I hope I'm whizzing through this quick enough. I know I do like to ramble in these videos, but we're on to the coats now. So on to the final section. This is the first jacket, which I have actually shown on my channel a couple of times before, I think. Um, and this is from Nasty Gal. And I got it uh, a couple of months, no, maybe about a month ago. And I just love this. It's like this wet look puffer jacket this is an oversized one um it's a size small but it definitely fits like more of a medium and i absolutely love this i often wear this over a hoodie or jumper when i'm walking the dog this is such a great casual jacket i love to wear this 
just with a basic long sleeved underneath and some black skinny jeans and I can just chuck on a pair of trainers. It still looks cute and on trend but it's a really easy outfit to throw on and really comfortable as well. Now I think this jacket was quite expensive, I'm not 100% sure and when I last looked they didn't have it um, online, they only had it in the orange colour which I think was quite an acquired taste. Um, it was like a really bright orange so um, I will look for a very similar one um, but these leather look puffers are quite popular now so I should be able to find one for you. Now this next coat is probably one of my most favourite coats that I have bought this year. I love it so much. It is from Zara. It is one of their long wool coats. And if you trail through the Zara website like I do looking for coats, you will know what long wool coat means. They have about 60 of them. Um, and this is one of them. No, that was an exaggeration. They have about six. Um, but this is one of them. I loved this colour. This is why I bought this coat. I just was obsessed with this lovely minky brown colour. Um, it's not lined, which this was a £100 coat. So to spend £100 on a coat that is not lined is a little bit frustrating. But I also do like the fact that it's not lined because it means I can wear nice thick jumpers underneath it. And it's not a heavy coat. It's quite light and um, it doesn't make me look bulky or anything it's just a really easy throw on coat it has these two large pockets at the front and then it also has a belt which you can tie obviously around the waist and I really love doing that um, I just think it adds a lot of shape this sort of coat can make you look quite straight up straight down so to have a little bit of shape is really good there is also a oh no there isn't a slip I thought there was a slip there's no slip I absolutely love this coat I have worn it so much it is such a smart coat but it's also really easy to dress down so I love how versatile it is. So I have mentioned throwing a long coat over some slightly more dressy outfits but for me I love to wear this with just a pair of leather trousers, a nice simple roll neck or turtleneck and trainers and I think it just looks really nice, it really finishes off an outfit, gives you that extra bit of smartness but it's also really comfortable. So this is the final item of clothing and this is also one of my favourite coats that I have picked up this winter. This is a big teddy coat and this is from Misguided. I did show this in a what I wore in a week video. I just adore this coat. I bought it in a size 8 and it is the perfect fit. You do not need to size up, it will be huge if you size up um, unless you like things huge. But this is plenty big enough for me. I love the teddy feel to it. I love how cosy it is. It only has one button though, which I didn't actually realise. I would have liked it if it sort of buttoned the whole way down. Um, but not a major issue. It also has like a little belt at the back as well, which I think is quite a nice touch. Sort of adds a little bit of something to it. It's an extra detail. Makes it look a little bit more luxurious. Um, I actually got this when Misguided had their Black Friday offers on, so I got it a little bit cheaper. I believe it's still on the, web on the website though. Um, I checked last night and they still had it in a lot of sizes, so you should be able to get your hands on this if you are after it. I tend to buy a lot of my coats September, October, even November time, and then I sort of chill out when it gets to December and I don't really buy any more coats because I think after Christmas shops start getting in more spring-like clothes. Um, so I did think it's a bit late to be buying a coat, but I'm so glad I got this because it's one of those pieces that I will be wearing next year and probably the year after. It is one of those coats that is never going to go out of style and I'm always going to need a big thick black coat. You just can't go wrong with one of these. Again, this could be something that you could throw over a dressy evening outfit, but I do like to wear it with a pair of leather trousers, maybe some biker boots and a nice basic underneath. So probably this Zara long sleeve top I think would look great underneath. So now I have gone through all the clothes and shown you possible outfit ideas. I'm now just going to touch on the shoes that I would have worn with the outfit. So the first pair which are my favourites, these are the Balenciaga Triple S trainers that I bought for myself um, just before Christmas and I love these. I did think the trend was a bit dead but um, I have worn these to death and I love them and I'm really pleased that I got them for myself because yeah, I've worn them so much and they're so handy and it means I can give my McQueen trainers a little bit of a break and I can alternate between the two. So yeah, absolutely love these. Obviously, you don't have to have a pair of Triple S trainers. I know they are extortionately priced. There are so many good dupes on the high street. So I will definitely link a couple of dupes down below because any decent pair of chunky trainers will do the job perfectly. The next thing that I've spoken a lot about is 
biker boots. Now these are my current favourite biker boots. These are actually from Zara and I don't think they're available anymore. I bought them last year. Um, my boyfriend got them for me actually for my birthday and they were expensive. What is going on? Um, anyway, they were expensive at the time. I think they're about £100 but I'm so, so glad I picked these up. They they look like amazing quality when I've got them on. They look really expensive. They're so comfortable. They're so versatile. And I have loved the chunky boot trend. I have a lovely pair of chunky boots from Topshop that I actually fe featured in the autumn outfits um, capsule collection video that I did. But I like to have something as well that's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more wearable for me day to day because I don't always like to be in something super chunky and grungy. So these are just a little bit more of a subtle biker boot that I absolutely love and I'm going to try my best to find a similar pair because I always get asked about these and I always feel really bad when I say they're out of stock. So I'm going to find you a really similar pair. Now the next pair of boots that I have worn a couple of times in the cutaways are these and these are the knee-high boots that I bought from Zara. I bought these in September I think and I wanted these last year and the year before and I never got around to wearing them, um, never got around to buying them um, because they were quite expensive. They were £120 which is not cheap for boots and there are a lot of dupes on the high street for boots like this but I just wanted a really good quality pair and this is that. They are amazing quality. The leather is beautiful. They store so nicely. I haven't worn these as much as I would have liked to for the money that I've spent on them, but they look so great with the sort of outfits that I've shown you today. And as I'm getting more into wearing skirts and dresses, this sort of thing is so great to put with them for this time of year. Just another little accessory whilst we are on the topic. Um, I purchased a pair of these Gucci tights which I actually mentioned in my last video and um, I was planning on buying them and I got them and ordered them and I love them so this is what you will have seen me wearing in the cutaways and they're expensive for tights yeah but um, they're actually really great quality and I don't think they're going to ladder that easily I might be wrong but they seem quite thick and they seem quite sturdy and I just love them so I thought I'm going to treat myself and, and obviously with, with wearing more skirts and dresses I thought I would get my wear out of them a lot more so they're just a nice little thing to have. And finally on to bags, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I already spoke in quite a lot of detail about this bag on my latest what I got for Christmas video um, and yeah this is the bag that I style with so many of my outfits since I bought it, I absolutely love it, it goes with everything, it's so versatile. Um, but obviously you don't have to spend mega money on a bag like this. I also have this bag, which I got from Zara, which is a very similar shape, very similar cross-body sort of style, and I absolutely love this. I did think when I bought the Prada bag that this wouldn't get as much use, but it certainly has. This sort of thing is such a handy bag to have. I love where it sits slightly higher up than a normal cross-body would, maybe on the hip area. Yeah, so you don't have to spend mega money on a bag, this one is just as good. So I think that is everything. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to condense it and make it a bit shorter and not show you 50 billion outfits all in one go. So hopefully you get the gist of where I'm going with the with the capsule collection and the styling of these pieces. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. There are plenty more videos coming and I would love, love, love to get to 10,000 subscribers. So that would be amazing if that could happen before my one year anniversary on YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back on Sunday with another video. I'm hoping to get back to filming and uploading two videos a week. Um, wish me luck because I find that stressful, but hopefully I'll be able to do it. Hopefully I'll be able to think of the ideas firstly. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video.